Emma Savant. I am a member of Socialist Alternative. I am also on the Seattle City Council and I am an immigrant from India. What we're seeing around the nation and indeed around the world is millions of people of the new generation, millions of women, uh, working people, people of color, rising up and saying that they want a different kind of society. People are frustrated and disgusted, not only with corporate politics, with the way that the Democratic and Republican Party establishments are tied to Wall Street, but they are also looking for a way out of the absolutely absurd and unjust system of capitalism that is so riddled with oppression. And the attacks against the immigrant community are part of that, uh, of, of that rotten system. And uh, millions of people are looking to get organized, collectively fight. And our action today is part of that effort to build a collective mass movement. But it won't be enough to just carry out pr protest actions. History shows that ordinary people showing extraordinary courage through collective action, through carrying out nonviolent civil disobedience, are critical components of successful social struggle, whether it was the civil rights movement, the abortion rights movement, or uh, the movements against the Vietnam and Iraq wars, we see that nonviolent civil disobedience and the willingness to risk arrest it part of, is part and parcel of building the movement and taking it forward. And that is why our arrests today matter. So the president and the administration want us to believe that all of this is in the name of homeland security, that caging families and, and separating kids from their parents is for the sake of its citizens and our safety. And I'm here to say, not in my name will that happen, and I will not be complicit. Throughout the nation, tens of millions of people are completely outraged by the attacks by the Trump administration against the immigrant community and the especially grotesque policy of separating little children from their parents and now the long-term detention of families together. We are absolutely opposed to these horrendous policies and that is why it is important that we give expression to the widespread anger into collective action. And this kind of organized action today, the protest action is an example of organized collective action that we need to do more of. But it is important that we understand protests will not be enough. Nonviolent civil disobedience is called for. That is why we shall not be moved. I'm here because we know that thousands of immigrant families and even children are being separated, detained, their parents deported. And we think that's uh, horrific and it should stop right now. We also know that billions of dollars are being spent on deporting and arresting and on, on immigration customs enforcement. We want to stop spending money to deport and separate families. We want to spend money on jobs, on education, on health care. That's why I'm so proud to be here with all these families, with domestic workers, uh, with uh, Casa Latina, with Council Member Shama Sawant, with Socialist Alternative, to fight against this, to abolish ICE, and to build a country that actually welcomes folks. Well, it's important to teachers because we work with children and we deal with their difficulties and challenges. And doing things, separating children from parents is one of the most traumatic things you can do to children. Um, and it's, it damages children. And why are we, we going to spend the time fixing things that are preventable? It's cruel, it's inhumane. Um, I mean, I know that I work with students, and I don't care if they're documented or not, I know some of them are. But when we start throwing away children and tra traumatizing children for political purposes, then we've lost our humanity. And as teachers, we need to remind everyone of that humanity.